Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Video Game Survival Guide. Today, I'll be teaching you how to survive an encounter of one of the most ruthless martial arts fighters in gaming, Akuma. Known as the Supreme Master of the Fist, Akuma is notorious for his skill in the Street Fighter franchise. First appearing in Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Akuma harnesses the power of the Satsui no Hado, also known as the Surge of Murderous Intent, or Dark Hado, to use dark energy in his fighting style. Akuma rarely fights weak opponents, and instead opts to find the deadliest and most skilled fighters in the world to defeat. He even handicaps himself and holds back with his abilities in order to balance fights with unworthy opponents in order to give them a fighting chance. Akuma is a very agile opponent, and utilizes the Shotokan art used by Ryu and Ken, with added mobility due to his teleporting special dodges. Akuma rarely lets up on his attack and prefers to assault opponents with never-ending barrages in an attempt to overwhelm would-be opponents with relentless trauma. A master at martial arts, Akuma has killed several practitioners of the various fighting styles all over the world in his conquest to find an opponent worthy of his own ruthless fighting style even going as far as to kill his own master, Gotetsu, in order to prove his dominance. Akuma also possesses stronger versions of the conventional special attacks from the Shotokan fighting style. His Gadouken, Goshoryuken, and Tatsumaki Zankukyaku abilities differ from their original counterparts due to their purple appearance and much deadlier impact derived from Akuma's use of the Dark Hado. However, of all of his attacks, his Raging Demon special attack is by far the most deadly. A mysterious flurry of attacks which result in the kanji symbol for heaven being emblazoned on Akuma's back and his opponent being left in a crushed heap on the ground. However, due to his aggressive nature, Akuma lacks stamina and has difficulty stunning opponents. Therefore, players with an affinity for defenses or counter-based playstyles will have a much better chance of turning the tables. In order to survive Akuma's onslaught, players will by default need a lot of skill as a fighter. However, to truly survive in recurring battles, players need to have quick reactions, a defensive posture, and good use of counterattacks. However, in the worst case scenario, if you're in a battle with this demonic opponent and have no chance of matching his skill, expect broken bones, broken pride, and if you're lucky, you'll live to eat all of your meals for a straw for the rest of your life. Special thanks to Priv Ryan for the suggestion of Akuma in the last video. And remember guys, if you want to have your suggestion in the next video, comment below. With the next video, we'll also be starting a new branching path to the gaming survival guide, locations. So if you have a particular level, map, dungeon or whatever that you want featured in the next episode, comment below with what you want to see and you may be featured in the next episode. On the danger scale, Akuma ranks as fatal.